Peterborough ended your contract with BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. Mm. First of all, just clear up the cost because it has been suggested it will be five pound per game. You've already sure. rallied if off you, there against you, that. If you want a one-off game or whatever else, it's a fiver. If you want to see, listen to all forty-six games for the season, it's six quid a month, one pound fifty a week. So there's a lot of misinformation out there, but that's the cost of it. You don't just get that. You get a hell of a lot of content that's on Posh Plus. We're building our whole Posh Plus content out. We're going to have podcasts on there. We're going to have a TV documentary. We're doing a lot of stuff. We've built a team behind the scenes because we, I personally think the sub way of going is, is the way it's going to go in the future for football clubs. Because you've got fans and families at the moment who will spend five, 600 quid every March, April on a season ticket. 100 quid in the summer on a kit. X amount more Christmas time. Imagine having it all and you paid one monthly amount every month. But there is a how, co- how easier that would be for families. But there is a cost of living well, crisis. I, I'm just, you're not going to let me finish, so I'm going to tell you the truth on this. Go on. This isn't aimed at... We're losing money on this for the next two years. We're not making money on this, by the way. And what I've already said is, for the older fans who don't have Wi-Fi, who are going to lose this service, I'm going to fix that. And that'll be coming out at the end of this week. There's a, there's a meeting going on right now, 3 o'clock in Peterborough, with a radio. We will have an FM tune-in for the older fans who are in the middle of nowhere, who don't have internet, who are over 70, 80, used to listening to commentary on a match day. We feel our service, what we're going to offer, is going to be better. We also feel the BBC service is a diminishing service. I don't think it's going to be around forever. They could bin us in a year if we hadn't said to them the contract was up. The other thing with the BBC, everyone keeps saying, I've banned them or they're not. That is incorrect. Every six minutes, they can report on the game. Mm. They have a presence at at the stadium Post-match, pre-match, they have access to our players, our manager, same as usual, except the full 90-minute audio. And by the way, there's many other League One clubs who don't have 90 minutes of match day audio free to radio Mm. across the country. There's many other clubs. So what we're doing is just getting ahead on what's happening in the future. This wasn't aimed at trying to rinse fans, trying to get more money. It's building up a service I think is going to take over as the main thing. And I certainly don't want to get in a war with the BBC. So just to clarify, though, this is going to be a loss maker for yes. Peterborough. You're not making yes. any profit. For the, first, for the next two years, yes. This is with an eye on the future. And with what, what would happen, Alex, tomorrow if BBC came to us and said, we don't have the money anymore, we can't do it? What would happen to the fans then? What commentary coverage would they get? Uh, Rob has text 81089. <laughs> Peterborough fan here, born and bred in the city, a season ticket holder for the club. I can see both sides mm-hmm. of the argument. Everyone will complain when something which was free you now have to pay for, but that's life. It's such a small minded mentality, he says. A lot of concerned grandkids out there who are tech yeah. savvy should look to be helping out their elders with new technology, something I do regularly with my parents in their 70s and grandparents in their 90s. Posh Plus has some superb content. Interesting to see how much more there is. Do you think that bigger clubs might follow suit? Premier League clubs? Because Simon Jordan on this programme has been speaking a lot about the Premier League coming together and forming their own subscription television service. Do you see that as the future? I wanted EFL Plus. I wanted us to go away from the Sky deal, the, the TV deal, and have basically where you would pay a monthly amount and you get to see every game. Mm. You would get, we would have our own interviewers, our own media people working behind the scenes, our commentary. I think we would have a better product. And I want us to study over the next three years before the next deal comes around that, to look at doing the Netflix subscription. I do believe in it. I think it's the way of the future. I think Apple, Netflix, Amazon are going to come to the table with offers. And I think if we take it in-house, we make a lot more as the EFL. I'm not talking about Peterborough. I'm talking about the EFL. You know, and that's why I think we, everything in our life now is a subscription. I mean, cry. I'm, so my family signed up to like 50 of them to come on direct debit every month in my account. I have a gym membership for five years I've never been to, LA Fitness. I pay $40 a month. The only way I can cancel is I have to go into the local branch. Mm. I'm too lazy. I haven't done it. <laughs> so I'm just, it's the way of the future, yeah. isn't it? How long, how yeah. long do you persist with this? Because first and foremost, for you, mm. it's about making money. It's and not about making money, it's about paying our bills. For the first two years, you're about, not going to earn any it's money. It's about paying our bills. It's about getting everyone over onto the platform. Yeah. It's about getting everyone involved, everyone enjoying the content, building the media team. We're doing a really good job of that and giving a product that our fans love. That's what it's about. We feel we're having... And, and people are saying, but the commentators are going to be biased towards Peterborough. I don't care if the guys who come in and commentate slag me off every game. Mm. I don't care. They still have a job. They have a contract. We've agreed with about five different people to come in and do. You could come in and do a commentary on a game. Adrian Durham could come in. You couldn't afford me, I don't think. Uh, all day and long, he would, of course. He would Let me tell you right now, well. I've got 10 quid left from all the coffee runs. <laughs> I'll see you Saturday. Saturday for the Birmingham game. But the point is, I could have any of you come in 
and do match day and we're going to have guests yeah. we're going to have former players you can say what you I don't that, care that's important that because one of the issues that important. I raised with Simon if the Premier League did bring all the television yeah, the coverage in house I think you would lose that impartiality and, and it's the big thing about the NFL in America when you've got the NFL network and everyone's always like yeah but they're always going to be pro NFL and they're never going to slag off the commissioner they're never going to slag off whatever I don't care if my commentators come out and say Worst chairman we've had in 17 years. Worst team, whatever. It's fine. BBC did it all the time. It's not why I ended the contract with the BBC. I ended it because I could see what was happening. And by the way, the BBC don't love us. You only have to listen to the stuff they were saying even on Friday night and making their own little skit and joke, and they think it's all humorous. They're so worried about all these fans in the middle of nowhere who are not going to get match day commentary, they're doing a three-minute skit on a Friday night attacking us. So I'm resolving it. We're going to resolve it. And those older fans with no Wi-Fi will be able to hear Posh Plus commentary yeah, mm. for free on a match day. And that's and, and my mistake was maybe the communication should have been sooner. It shouldn't have been dropped so late in the summer. My media team needed time to prepare to get everything done, contracts with the commentators. And the other mistake I made was I didn't think of the fan over 80 who didn't have Wi-Fi, who, who couldn't get access to the internet. I didn't realise there were so many of them. So we're doing a lot more work on that. And, and that's my where I will apologise for that. Uh, you're getting actually quite a lot of love today. We'll try and uh, change that by the end of the week. Uh, uh, <laughs> you hate the fact that people now are suddenly going, OK, we see his point of view. Uh, Laura from <laughs> Liverpool, she says, I'm really loving the show this morning. Great to hear McAntony on. But just to say, I don't see what the issue is. Quite a lot of teams already have their own football stations and do audio coverage of the games. Sounds like a reasonable cost to me. I do that with my own team. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.